Hi there, my name is Toby and this is part 5 of my Wild Man Kung Fu series and this is all about wrestling, groundwork. Now you see this martial art is really the simplest martial art you're ever going to find but it's also the most advanced. This is extremely advanced and extremely difficult. I'm trying to hold an exact and very detailed position in the body. It's very simple, there's only one form in this martial art and it's this, the neutral stance. And I define this stance, this structure, as the position your body would take if you were floating in space and you could achieve perfect relaxation. It's very close to the fetal position, but it's a bit more dynamic. You're halfway in a jump. It's a very dynamic posture. But it's the posture itself that is most important. Is I'm trying to find the same posture here now lying down. So even though I'm lying on the floor, I've got to get the exact same position. It doesn't matter which angle my body is at. I've got to find this exact posture because this is the most efficient position for my body to be in. This is the midpoint of all movement. And from here I can move in all directions evenly. And I'm just starting to move around carefully bit by bit and, and spring back to this neutral position. Notice the backwards arch, the backwards projection of the hips and the shoulders. So I can collapse and expand uh, from this position here lying down on the floor. And of course this moves to wrestling. See I've got to learn the most efficient structure for wrestling and the most efficient way of generating power in wrestling. And this power is all in the spine, it's between the hips and the shoulders. I need this power when standing up in striking as we've done before. I need this power in standing grappling and I need the same power in lying down wrestling. It's still the same power. It's power generated in the spine between the hips and the shoulders. And that's what I'm working on here now, moving all these different exercises. And if you're already a wrestler, you will know a lot of these groundwork exercises and you'll have many more. But try to do them with direct and complete control of the spine. Gain strength in your hips and your shoulders and, a, and an isometric tension through the spine. The belly is always pulled in tight. And you've got to learn how to breathe deep into the back of the rib cage. You see again, look into my uh, other uh, other videos on breathing, structural breathing. You need to be able to breathe carefully and, and controlled when you're wrestling. You've got to be able to breathe between your chest and your belly because people will sit on you. So you've got to know how to move the breath around. Now here, this exercise, I'm rolling, rolling on the ground, but I'm not allowed to use my arms and legs, only the spine. I've got to create a, tri a twist in my waist from the obliques and the TA muscle and then twist into the hips and the shoulders and roll over. Over. So it's a good challenge. See if you can do this. You're not allowed to use your hands and legs. You've got to roll over only using your spine. It's all about gaining ultimate and total control of your body. You see, the wild man doesn't think about fighting, but they will have a natural uh, correct positioning and natural body dynamics. And here's the neutral stance again standing up. I'm on the ball of the feet, but here from there, I can, here I can drop straight down into the sprawl. It's halfway down already. So even in the sprawl, I'm trying to stay cr close to the neutral position. There's still a backwards arch. I've still got a, a spring in my hips, a spring in my shoulders. So from here I can bounce and move easily. I've got, got to be able to shift my weight between the arms and the legs and be ready to move. Wrestling is all about this. Wrestling is three-dimensional fighting. You've got to be able to fight whether you're lying down, standing up, on your side, upside down, anything. You still fight. And the same with your opponent. You don't know which direction your opponent is going to be in. Whichever direction they're in, you're going to be able to do something. So this is not about the techniques of wrestling. If you want to learn real wrestling, you've got to actually go and practice and learn some techniques. But this is about the body dynamics required for wrestling. So here what I'm doing is using a pillar as an opponent. I'm pushing and pulling into the pillar. And if you look at the previous part, you see me standing up doing this, like I just did there. But now I'm going lower down into wrestling. So now I've got to create power through my structure in a lower position. This is from the sprawl, pushing and pulling low down, pushing with the shoulder. But you see it's still the neutral stance. I'm still trying to get the neutral position of my body, even at this funny angle, right down low. Pushing and pulling right down low, trying to use the gripping with my feet. I'm gripping my feet and my hips, trying to transmit that force through the spine in a forward lever position. You see I'm still trying to arch backwards. The lever is at the hips and then from this position I can create a strong force through my spine, an isometric tension through my spine and push with the feet into the shoulders and into the hands. 
And here again, now just diving forward into it, feeling a push, feeling a pull. It's, remember, this is about feeling. You've got to feel inside your body. You've got to feel this structure. You've got to feel the force transmit. It transmits through the ground, from the ground rather, through the legs, through the hips, through the spine, into the shoulders. And here again, low down movement, moving about very carefully, very low, trying to still feel the neutral position of the spine but you see it's collapsed a bit more from the neutral position I can come up high like that and then suddenly collapse down low it's a spring I'm spring loading my whole body in previous videos I've called this elastic power I'm trying to create an elasticity in the joints and this comes from holding this neutral position and springing back to it remember the neutral stance is the most efficient position for your body the midpoint of all movement I can collapse and expand evenly and I can and generate force easily from this position. I use this force to move about with a bounce and I use this to, to generate power in striking and now I'm using this to use my whole body low down to grip, push, pull and move into wrestling. Uh, and now again, now I'm just doing a bit of complete freestyle, a little bit of shadow fighting, striking, pushing, pulling, and going down low, pushing, pulling, and striking. Everything all combined together. It's What you've got to see is all the same thing. It's all the neutral stance, holding the spine under isometric tension, and then pulsing left and right through the spine using the waistline. I've got to hold my belly pulled in tight, lift the rib cage up and back a little bit, keep, keep the obliques tight. You see the twist comes from the oblique but I've got to hold the belly in to support the lumbar spine. You see the movement comes from this, the spine but the lumbar is also very weak. It's the weakest part of your body. The only way you can have a strong spine is using the, the waistline. You pull the belly in tight, the TA muscle and the obliques. And in Qigong they call this the Qi belt. There's a belt of Qi that goes around. And this, this you've got to have the Qi belt always tight and you generate power from this. So now again you can see me up, down, left, right, forward and backwards. And and you see also a little bit of movement of the spine. I can hunch the spine a little bit, but now I don't have any videos of me doing any actual wrestling with a partner, but I hope to do those one day soon. So in time, I will do some practical videos with a partner in this type of sparring. But you can see, if you go to my homepage, check out my martial arts page, you'll see different videos of me sparring, but it's upright standing, grappling and striking. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video and it made sense. Please do check out the whole series and the next part will be coming very soon again. Thank you so much for watching and do please check out one of these other videos here.